Hey guys, today's video is brought to you by iMovie and their AnyTrans software, the all-in-one iPhone manager that helps iPhone users transfer data and back up your iPhone and data in many ways. And also their iPhone Rescue, which is their iOS recovery tool, which helps iOS users to recover data from iOS devices, as well as iTunes and iCloud backup. They're currently hosting a Halloween giveaway where you have a chance to win multiple prizes. The more times you visit, the more your chances of winning. So visit links in the description. Thank you to iMovie for sponsoring today's video. Hey guys, I know I help here and Apple yesterday released iOS 13.2 for the iPhones, for the iPad and a new update for the HomePod. I just wanted to give you guys a quick follow up 24 hours later after using the software because there's been quite a bit of issues with the software. I've been testing it overnight and I have to say I'm not very happy with the software because it is incomplete in my opinion and it's also breaking some HomePods. So if you're having issues updating your HomePod, to iOS 13.2 and you're stuck on a boot loop, Apple has recognized this, you can actually take your HomePod into an Apple store to get it fixed. And Apple has went ahead and also pulled iOS 13.2 so no HomePod can be updated. Luckily, I did update my HomePod to iOS 13.2 and my iPhone. But as I mentioned, some of the features are broken. So for example, the transfer music to HomePod where you're listening to music on your device, you get home and then you hold your iPhone next to the HomePod, that feature isn't working at all. Another feature that's incomplete with iOS 13.2 is the audio sharing. So audio sharing, of course, allows you to share the audio from one device with other other devices or other Bluetooth devices. So for example, two pair of AirPods are working fine, but when I try sharing the audio with other sources like an iPad, it isn't working properly. So it is an incomplete software. It's breaking some HomePods and unfortunately it isn't working as intended. Now, when it comes to animations, the performance of the software feels great. The app switcher, control center, 3D touch or haptic touch, everything is flowing fine. It's just some of the core features like the audio sharing and also the update for the HomePod isn't working as intended, which is quite unfortunate. As I mentioned, Apple has pulled iOS 13.2, so you can no longer update HomePods. It is breaking some HomePods and you can take it in for repair if you're having this issue or you attempted to update. I would say hold off on iOS 13.2. Do not update as of yet. I'll have my longer term follow up here in the next 24 to 48 hours where I talk about the battery and everything else. But as of right now, I'm not really happy with some of the features that Apple promised for this software because they are incomplete. They're not working as they should. But that was just a quick 24 hour update. Just a quick warning for you guys. Those who own the HomePod, stay away. And I would stay away from iOS 13.2 in general into Apple releases 13.2, maybe 0.1 here in the near future. So that's everything, guys. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you real soon. Peace.